Yo, what's going on guys? My name's Oh My God, your head's gone, and as all you guys know, the Beach Bum DLC pack finally got released today, and that means it got released with patch 1.06. So you're going to start up your game, as I'm showing you here, and it's going to tell you that you actually need to download the Beach Bum update in order to play Grand Theft Auto 5 online, so I quickly do that. And then my first thoughts are, okay, patch 1.06 came out. What actually got patched? Did any of the good glitches get patched, like the money glitch or the ensuring a tank and jet glitch? So, once I actually do get into the game in one second here, that's the first thing I check out. What I do is I call my mechanic really quickly, and I notice that I still have my tank in my garage. And uh, I remember that I last destroyed my jet, so I, I call Moore's Mutual Insurance, and there it is in the insurance list. So, I call my mechanic again, and he actually does deliver me the jet, so I'm thinking, okay, maybe... They didn't patch it properly or something like that so I go for a quick ride in the jet and then uh, I decide to jump out once I get to my house and I realize alright uh, this isn't good because when I go into my garage you guys are gonna see in a second here after I do an epic dive out of the plane and then face plant on the floor by accidentally uh, just leaning too far forward with the parachute but anyway so once I go in the garage my heart sinks a little bit and it looks like there will be no more uh, personal tanks or jets because as you see my tanks are gone now that I've went into it I think that I could have called my mechanic and had him bring me the tank but if you destroy your current personal tank or jet you cannot get it back from Moore's mutual insurance and if you go into your garage while your tank or personal jet is in there they're just gonna disappear and they're gone forever so you see I call Moore's mutual insurance I check if the jets there it's not there so they did patch it guys you can no longer unfortunately do that glitch which is kind of a good thing because it, it was annoying when people had to pay when they destroyed your personal tank and stuff like that it was affecting the game so it's a good and a bad thing and then the next thing i go to check out is if the money glitch is still working so i bring my akuma here to sell it really quick and i'm just gonna do the regular character swap glitch but i don't actually do it because again this has been patched as well as soon as I go to sell it you're gonna see right here sell it kicks me right out of the actual Los Santos customs and and you can't do the glitch anymore so all those glitches have been patched which is it's a good thing it's a good thing and, and a bad thing you know I'm happy that they finally did get patched because they were kind of game impacting and uh, and in the end it, they were fun while they lasted and that's how it always is so anyways here are the actual patch notes from patch 1.06 I'm gonna put them on the screen right now Okay, so here are part one of the patch notes. There's actually two parts to it, and as you can see in game right now, this guy is running me over with, I believe, one of the new Beach Bum uh, DLC pack vehicles, and he's being just a complete asshole. But anyway, so that's part one of the patch notes. If you guys want to read more about it, I'm going to leave a link to the Rockstar article in the description, and on the screen right now is part two of the patch notes. So if you guys want to pause them to read them here, or if you want to read them more in depth, just check out the link I left in the description. And a couple of things that actually caught my eye in these patch notes were the fact that the amount of cash and RP earned from races has been nerfed. And that makes me sad because races were probably my favorite thing to do on GTA 5 Online. But oh well, you know, things happen. And they also reduced the cost of... Uh, getting a vehicle delivered from Pegasus, which is pretty cool because we've already paid like a million dollars for our tank or whatever other vehicle that we bought from Pegasus, and it's pretty dumb that we had to pay a thousand dollars every time we just wanted it delivered to us. And then the bad sport penalty has been reduced significantly, so no longer will you be stuck in bad sport for days at a time, which is a good thing because it was definitely too severe considering you could get it from only blowing up like three or four personal vehicles in a row and uh, and ever since they actually fixed the fact that you will pay the insurance claim for the other person if you have enough money uh, it just really hasn't been that big of a deal so it, it was kind of a severe uh, kind of penalty before but anyways guys if this video helped you out or you enjoyed it just leave a comment down below like the video and subscribe if you guys have any questions to ask me or just want to talk follow me on twitter and tweet me the link is in the description as well otherwise i hope you guys have a great day thanks for watching the video peace out Ooh.